I am going to be a witch! I need to be strong! What if I told you Bayonetta wasn't always the confident, ass-kicking witch we've known all these years? That unexplored history is what Bayonetta Origins, Cerise and the Lost Demon, shines a light on, painting a thoughtful picture of a time when the scariest monsters a young Bayonetta had to face were her own inner demons. Nobody likes you! You really think you can become a great witch? This prequel puts the stylish action aside for a whimsical and harrowing adventure brimming with childlike wonder brought to life with a beautiful storybook aesthetic. It's a fascinating side of the Bayonetta world we've never seen before and one that leaves me with a deeper appreciation for a series I already loved. Bayonetta Origins is a joyous journey in an imaginative world steeped in Irish mythology. Fairies lurk in the labyrinthine Avalon Forest where they've trapped a young Cereza in. Through exploring this forest, we explore elements of her past only alluded to in the mainline games with a grounded and earnest approach. Yet it's distinct enough to stand on its own merits so newcomers can jump right in. You're given simultaneous control of Cereza and her demon-infused cat plushie, Cheshire, when summoned. Cereza's movement and actions are dedicated to the left side of the controller and Cheshire to the right. Juggling two characters eventually became quite intuitive even if the fundamentals of that system don't evolve drastically over the roughly 15 hour journey. You'll get familiar with a pattern of moving parts in the environment or pinning down an enemy for attacks. Still, it leads to some neat mind-bending scenarios by virtue of the coordination required to handle the tandem effectively. In one respect, Bayonetta Origins is a puzzle platformer that asks you to analyze your surroundings and use the duo's abilities to get through it. Cheshire can pull objects with his chameleon-like vine tongue, block projectiles with his hardened stone skin, or propel lily pads with a jet stream to navigate water, all to help Cereza progress. These elemental skills are gained over the course of the story, which introduces a few wrinkles to the formula to keep it fresh. Cereza herself has a fun little rhythm minigame with Witch Pulse, where she gleefully ballet dances to make various objects come alive and open paths ahead. While these platforming puzzles never get too complex, there's an enjoyable variety to exploring this wondrous world. In another respect, this is a proper action game with combat that has them working together in a similar fashion. Cereza traps enemies with her thornbine, giving Cheshire the opportunity to freely wail on dastardly fairies with furious swipes and powerful smashes. A variety of enemy types gradually encouraged me to mix up Cheshire's elemental modes, such as ripping shields and throwing them back with his grass ability, or casting water beams to hit multiple enemies. It's not necessarily as nuanced as I'd expect for a regular Bayonetta game, but landing attacks always has a satisfying crunch, like there's a beastly weight behind every hit. How about this? Boss fights also have some great one-off mechanics that play into their unique quirks. One such battle takes place in a circus against a trickster fairy, having you trap it with Cereza so that Cheshire can send a cannonball into them before capping it off with a spectacular quick time event. Defeating the fabled Jabberwock was another triumphant moment for Cereza and Cheshire, requiring timing and teamwork while proving they can overcome anything together. Many of these big battles pull you deeper into the pages of this storybook for memorable moments and awesome surprises. While these fights were impressive, what Bayonetta Origins does best is create a satisfying flow where I regularly felt tasked with something different throughout each chapter. The interconnectedness of Avalon Forest helps create a natural progression. Each region smartly transitions into the next and conveniently loops back around while also tucking away little secrets off the beaten path. Exploring is always worth the extras you earn, be it saving the adorable wisps who populate the forest, reading elegantly written journal entries for enticing lore, or discovering new landmarks to soak in a lovely view and let Cereza reflect on her journey. She could feel the whisper of a mysterious power, carried by the wind from further within. I often forgot I was even playing a Bayonetta game, which is a testament to Bayonetta Origins endlessly charming and youthful charisma. The dynamic between Cereza and Cheshire starting as a contentious partnership before growing into a true friendship works as a wonderful hook, one that perfectly fits the storybook vibe. 
The idea that this unlikely duo must rely on each other to survive and achieve their own goals seems like a tale as old as time, but it truly shines because of how Bayonetta Origins pulls it off. Careful, Cheshire! I don't know if wisps can have heart attacks, but scares like that can't be good either way. More than anything, this is a coming-of-age tale for Cerezo where she comes to grip with her witchcraft and fights her insecurities. Anyone who's had childhood struggles can relate to Cereza on some level, and her rich personality and the way she rises up in defining moments brings those feelings to life. Cereza is so outwardly expressive at every moment, with a spirited personality elevated by a magnificent voice performance. I'm a witch, and I'm way stronger now than when I set foot in this forest. We can help. Her enthusiasm is matched by the narrator, who perfectly captures the memory of your favorite elementary school teacher reading a thrilling fairy tale to the class. Who's gonna be the appetizer? And who shall I save for dessert? Roared Cheshire, his mane rippling and claws extended. They never fail to put a smile on my face, giving me a sense of childlike joy I truly cherish. The story's focus can get a bit shaky towards the end, with certain elements not quite adding up or maybe needing more follow-through. A few of the intriguing conflicts make too quick of a narrative leap to be fully convincing, even though the broader story does make sense. But even with those bumps, the journey comes together as a beautifully written tale of friendship, determination, and realizing your potential, with a natural, light-hearted sense of humor to elevate it. That might be best seen in the adorable Wisps, who are quirky little fellas with hilarious personalities and backstories that feature some of the wittiest writing from a game in recent memory. You save these spirits by finding them throughout the forest, often in secret areas that require a sharp eye to discover. As an added bonus, you'll see their hideaway blossom into a safe haven for these goofy and kind souls who can find joy even in a tragic existence. What brings it all together for me is the amazing soundtrack. Bayonetta Origins has an eclectic mix of uplifting Celtic folk music, intense and layered orchestras, spooky waltzes that remind me of Halloween, and joyous piano tunes that liven the mystical vibe. The cute jingle that plays whenever you open a chest where Cereza jumps for joy with a celebratory giggle was always a treat. But I won't forget the rich, orchestral pieces used to complement the vivid and pivotal battles, especially the ones that use subtle callbacks from some of Bayonetta's iconic themes. It's a powerful and unique type of nostalgia that brings the series full circle to remind you that these are Cereza's formative moments. You know you've played something special when you're left with a bittersweet feeling while the credits roll. For once, Cheshire had no mocking retort. As I closed the book on Bayonetta Origins, I kept thinking about how it was an absolute joy through and through. From its impressive, fantastical story moments full of childlike charm to its clever platforming puzzles and satisfying battles, this is a superb action adventure where every piece comes together to create a wondrous playable storybook. Its dual character concept doesn't evolve that much once you get the hang of it, and its conclusion could have done a bit more to leave a lasting impact. But it's a journey I'll cherish all the same, and one that's been brought to life through a beautiful art style, stellar voice performances, and an outstanding soundtrack. Bayonetta Origins puts a neat little bow on an iconic franchise, and I'm glad we got to see that there was so much more to our beloved witch. For more on this year's hits on the Switch, be sure to check out our reviews of Metroid Prime Remastered and Fire Emblem Engage. And for everything else, stick with IGN.